Hey guys, my name is Tuka Fire, and before I get into the actual video, I just want to say, even if you aren't experiencing this issue right now, it may very well happen in the future, no matter what your FPS is or how good your internet is, so please stick around for the whole video. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about how to potentially fix your game being choppy, so be sure to subscribe for future videos like this one and check out some of my other guides on how to actually fix your FPS and other issues like that. The issue I'm going to be talking about today is with Choke. Choke in CSGO is the lost data from the server to you. So ideally it should always be at zero if you're on a good server, and considering it's from the server to you and not you to the server, it's usually not a problem with you, but with the server. But it could also be a problem with your internet, which we'll get into later. Recently, I've been getting this issue for a few weeks and honestly didn't know what to do about it and why it was happening. My choke was spiking to like 70% mid-round and my game felt extremely choppy, especially on Valve servers. If you feel like you're having the same issue, you can type net underscore graph 1 in console to actually see what your data values are. But first make sure that you're actually on a Valve server, because you won't notice this issue on an offline server and usually not in a community server. If you notice really high choke numbers during mid rounds, you have an issue. But all you really have to do for this fix is simply go on your console and personally for me I changed my rate to 128,000 as for some reason it was somewhere in the 20,000s automatically. Now you might be asking what is rate and how exactly does it change my game? Rate in CSGO is the maximum connection speed allowed. Now even though the 128,000 value worked for me it might not work for you. Rate is based on internet speed. This chart gives you a rough outline of what your rate should be based on your download speed. But honestly, my speed is a lot faster than 1 megabyte per second. But 128,000 worked for me, so I'm not going to bother changing it. So for some reason, the default is supposed to be 196,608, but mine was nowhere near it and I feel like a lot of you guys might have the same issue as well, considering I had it and had it for weeks without noticing and it caused a lot of issues. So even though you might not be experiencing any issues right now, I really recommend taking a look at what your rate is set to right now, and if it's below 100,000, I would recommend changing it to something more according to your internet speed. If your internet speed does correspond to what it is, you shouldn't have any issues, but maybe try and raise it if you do. If you aren't sure if you've been experiencing packet loss up to this point, it mostly seems noticeable if your game freezes during gunfights or becomes extremely laggy when a lot of nades are being used. For example, if you're on CT side on Mirage and T's throw an A execute, that's at least when I first started noticing it, as it was really obvious something was wrong with my game. So what if you have a choke problem but changing your rate in console doesn't fix it? The issue could actually be a couple different things. First of all, your internet service provider or ISP could have actual issues. Most of the time, these companies really suck. I've had a lot of issues with internet service providers before, and they really like giving you poor internet connection sometimes, so you might honestly just have to upgrade your speeds. But before you upgrade your speeds right after me saying that, I really recommend trying Ethernet rather than Wi-Fi. Not only are the speeds on Wi-Fi a lot worse, but they can lead to packet loss, lag spikes, and a lot of other things. Ethernet is the way to go, and I really recommend buying, I mean like a $20 Ethernet cable. I guarantee you'll see a lot better differences. And not only better speeds, I guarantee you'll have a lot more of a consistent connection if you had a problem getting kicked from CSGO games because your internet's bad, it shouldn't happen on Ethernet unless you have an issue with your internet service provider. So once again, I really recommend Ethernet, it has solved a lot of my issues and if you can get it, you should. But I know some people aren't able to get Ethernet in their rooms for whatever reason, so getting a Wi-Fi extender can help as well, but I can't guarantee it, it differs from person to person, so you honestly should contact your ISP to see if you're having packet loss issues in CSGO or just lag in general, and if the other things I didn't talk about in this video didn't work, it's probably a problem with your internet. So just to recap overall exactly everything that I talked about, 
First of all, the first step you want to take is to check your rate, set it to something over 100,000. If you have consistent internet speeds, this should remove the packet loss and you shouldn't see any issues in CSGO if your internet is fine. If this doesn't work, there's probably something wrong with your internet, so I would recommend trying Ethernet if you haven't already. And if that doesn't work, go to speedtest.net or just another speed test site. See if your download speeds are consistent like this video here. They're constantly going up, they aren't dropping randomly to zero. And if they're dropping randomly to zero, you definitely have an internet issue and you're gonna have to contact your ISP or something like that. But yeah, that does pretty much wrap it up for this video. So yeah, I hope this video did help you guys. Just changing my rate in console made my game perfect, not choppy anymore, and I hope it does the same for you guys, as it was a really annoying issue and I didn't know how to fix it. But if you guys are having other issues, I'll try to do all I can to help. Just be sure to leave a comment telling me what's going on and I'll do my best. But besides that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.